triumph in the trap. This is for the dollar. Do you believe in miracles? Hey, I play chess, but only in 4D. I'm by myself, but they think I'm 4D. When they see me online, they think they know me. Go ahead, like a subscribe, you gotta show me. I applied pressure and they tried to reject it. Clearly, ain't see I was a diamond, so they didn't accept it. Told me I was a failure, so I said, F it. Might even start my own school and teach them a lesson. Yeah, I'ma call it South Harmon. Huh. Fly down south and get the south popping. <laughs> One day, I'ma give you a walkthrough and introduce you to this walk too. <laughs> I know you lost, that's just dynasty talk Cause you can't start no franchise without no dynasty talk I took a break from the game, nicked on my dynasty stop Till I came back like Wimbyama, I feel like Coach Pop I can't say that I'm the GOAT, cause you ain't gonna agree But if I own my own farm, I can make the GOAT Me, the ladies love the beard, and they used to love the goatee That's when I was a lamb, burning music on CDs I wasn't born in 88 December 87, I was 16 days away Might fly to Dallas, why not? I just got paid today When I land this dirt statue, I came to fade away Check the timeline for the stories and the play-by-play -play. My life a Patreon link, you gotta pay to play I worked 16 hours, boy, that's a 88 X Factor like Dez Bryant, my boy 88 Why dream light when you living like a heavyweight? This ain't a one-week thing, we grind like every day They know my destination, Devi, like I Hang with Ray. If they ain't know my name, I bet they know my name today. Treat this mic like an ATM, let's make a trade today. Drop, drop this on Fizzle Friday, cause that's my favorite day. And I'm gonna do it my way, cause that's my favorite way. They tried to put me on the shelf like I'm layaway. Told me it ain't no way, so I made a way. Huh? Welcome to South Harmon, I'm glad you're here today. Welcome to South Harm and I'm glad you here today. I'm glad you here today. Welcome to South Harm and I'm glad you here today. I'm glad you here today. Hit that Patreon link if you here to stay, huh? Treat this mic like an ATM. Let's make a trade today. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back into another edition of the Dynasty Trade Show. Offline imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> That's my new one. Let's Damn go, straight, buddy. Man. Damn Adam, straight. buddy, how are you doing tonight? I know it's late for both of us, especially late for you. My ass just got off of work, working this 2 to 10 shift. <sighs> but we got to get a trade show in. I may have the quote-unquote week off, but I ain't missing the trade show, buddy. We're going to get this thing in. How are you doing, man? I, I miss you. I, <laughs> I miss know. You. I feel like I we're, we're worlds apart right now. I know. I, I feel fantastic. You know, it's um, it's currently well past the time I need to go to bed, considering when I wake up. And you know, I'm here. I'm excited. I'm ready to discuss. Let's call it this, Mike. We need the season to be here. We're yeah. gonna see with some of these trades that everybody needs the season to be here. Um. It's also here. It's it's literally by the time you watch this, it's less than a week away. So just just calm yourselves, man. Just 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 chill out. Just chill out, man. We got gotcha. you. Um, we're gonna review mine and another one of mine, and then yours. Um, all you oh, guys okay. watching, yeah. Okay. So you, you'll understand once you once you kind of get hip to it. But if you do want your deals featured on this show, Patreon.com forward slash South Harmon. A dollar a month no longer gets you in the door. What does get you in the door? Come on, it gets you in the Not door. Not for the Shithead Trades channel. It doesn't get your deal featured anymore, but it gets you in the if door. You, what did I say? If you want your deals featured on the show, a dollar a month does not get you in the door. But you can get in the Shithead Trades. Uh, you can't get the Trades channel, but you can get in the Shithead Discord. Um, yes. Price of the brick went up. And... Um, it's not by that's much. Because, it's five bucks. It's but we can't we, damn, damn, we can't we can't even get all the trades that we have right now, right? These, these damn patrons out here making seventy five deals a day. I can't get through them all. <laughs> I need six of me. Mike, we had to bring a patron, shout out Blitz, just to pull the deals. I mean, let alone <laughs> I know, pick pick I the ones that are like 
these are the ones that we should go on the channel. So, uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's what needed to be done. We appreciate every one of you guys, uh, being a part of the, of the discord Absolutely. and everything. Absolutely. Uh, if, if you don't want to do that, I honestly can't blame you. I wouldn't blame if you didn't want Mike and I to grade your deals, at least just like, and subscribe while you laugh at us throughout this process. And then you can laugh at my deal because Mike, let's get into it, man. Let's see what the hell I did. All right, Mike, here it is. Ooh. Um, by the way, you see this double feature? Somebody 4D'd my ass. You see the timestamps? Oh, man. As soon Dude. as I press accept, you know what happened? Got it again. Accept. So here we go, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> home leagues are uh, becoming not as homey. Um, let's just talk through my, my deal first. This is a 12-team super flex league, uh, half point PPR, and it's a full tight end premium. So... Um, for those that want to know, it's just one point per catch for tight end. It's double what everyone else gets. It's not 1.5 when you add them up. Right. Line up, line up, start nine. I know we, we got to start specifying. The community is really bad as far as what we tight end premium pick means. One, man. I'm going to champion this movement. I swear to God. I'm gonna I would be love it. to have a universal statement so that I don't have to oversimplify, I guess, I it. what it is. But anyway. We need, we need it. Um. Part of this deal was Koopa convincing me a little bit. Now, I'll be honest, if Koopa comes on this deal, on the show, I hope he does because I'm not about just abandoning the market value for tight ends. But I will still throw away tight ends when needed, all right? And Gerald Everett, I bought Peace. you a ticket, and it's one way, buddy. It was a one-way ticket out of uh, the Raptor 15 house. So Gerald Everett, Jameer Gibbs, the feature player in the deal, in a 2026 third, Mike, people are trading for thirds three years from now. I kind of took this as a shot, like, this is 301 in 2026, like, he thinks that I'm going to end up <laughs> being shitty, like, I don't want this year's or next year's, like, I want to try you, um, that's neither here nor there, love you, Horn. Anyway, I get Tyree Kill in a 2025 second that is his. So, Mike, the way I was viewing this is Gibbs and Tyreek Hill, for me, in market currently are similar, right? They're a wash, yep. right? Cancel out for me. If I'm does, competing, I want Tyreek. Does the half PPR, though, change it at all for the running back? It would change for the running back if Jameer Gibbs was one of those hammer running backs. You know what I mean? Like that guy sure. who's going to get a shit ton of carries. But That's now, not what I agree with you there, but I also think that – I think there's a chance where Gibbs, because – it's half PPR, it's lowered there, but he's still a running back. So he yes. could be elite there. So it's like it's more of the fact that I think he could be a difference maker at that position versus the receivers. It, it gives a slight leg up. Let's put that. It's not Unless much. It's a slight leg. You, you're being nice. They cancel out at best. Um, but I would probably give the edge to Tyreek Hill because even in half PPR, okay. Tyreek Hill is a monster. Well, I guess I must be being nice because I'm getting Tyreek Hill. But anyway. Yes, you are being So nice. I'm getting Tyreek Hill. And, I, and I'll tell you the truth here. Um, I actually I struggled with this deal because in this league, like I know why? how – why did I struggle? Yeah, why did you struggle? Because of the tight end thing? That's no, what it yes, was. it was Gerald Everett that killed – no, absolutely not. <laughs> Go on, say it. Say no, it. it had nothing to do with Gerald Everett. I, you know what I have in this league, Mike, is uh, every bit of – acknowledgement of I need to get rid of these tight ends. I had too many. Thank you. I had Thank I, th you. I think I still have 5. So uh, it's not that. It I'll, I'll Koopa, I got, I got your back, buddy. Koopa, <laughs> I got your Koopa, back. Koopa, this has, this deal has nothing to do with it. I hope I hope Koopa's deals are here. I have a feeling Blitz didn't pull them. But the thing with Gibbs is this. Um it's not that Tyreek Hill isn't amazing. And I made the deal because I think Tyreek Hill for the current team that I have helps me win right now. But, Mike, right. now my, my room currently looks like Tyreek Hill, Cooper Cup, A.J. Brown, D.J. Moore, Brandon Ayuk. Those are my receivers, right? I can start four. I got five that I feel very good about. I still have two picks in 2024, not even my own. Like, I feel very good about what I'm building. However, moving off of Gibbs, going to Tyreek Hill, now I have – uh, Mahomes and Lamar. So like my team's built the way I want. I have I have Kelsey. Like this year, outside of catastrophic injuries, 
I'm ready for anything that comes my way. But th- this move almost takes away any future value I have, if that makes sense, okay. outside of picks. Like it, it's more yeah. of it, it, it makes my team very rigid as far as like what can happen throughout the season. It's not, it's not that I don't agree. Like I, I, I'd rather have Tyree Kill on a contender. It's that in this league, I've always had a, uh, like a trampoline in the back, right? Like if, if, if my fall happens, I, I can land right. on something. This, to me, it takes all that away as far as what I'm actually willing to move. That, that is part of what I struggled with in this deal. But anyway, let's, let's talk about this for you. Where, where are you at with this deal? <laughs> this is easy. Uh, Jameer Gibbs is awesome. But Adam, I don't really project him as being like a top three, top four running back in 2023. Mm-hmm. It's going to take some time. He's a I agree. We top, always forget top three this shit. or four is crazy hard to do, right? We always forget this shit. What I do project, Tyreek Hill, being a top three or four option at the wide receiver position, and in half PPR, Adam, I've looked at enough warp to go. The wide receiver wins out, no question about it. This is a win now move. You just feel a little bit guilty because one guy's young, the other guy's on the older side. But the other guy that's on the older side is elite as fuck. Elite as fuck. I am all aboard the Tyreek Hill train. Um, think about it, Adam. Probably in this, I'm going to guess this is a friends and family league. It's exactly what it is. Number two warp wide receiver last year. With Tua being concussed. Tua missing that's time. Correct. That's correct. Skyler motherfucking Thompson playing games. Who? Rip? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So when I say that they're even, they're even probably in dynasty value. I'm talking. Yeah, I was talking in market. By the way, I'm not saying in production right. that Gibbs is ahead by by any no stretch. Question. Right. In production, in warp, and anything else you want to use fantasy points per game, Tyreek Hill is a massive difference maker for you. Like I said, even if I say that, okay, they're even. I make that consensus. I make that that that. I make that a uh, concession, not consensus. Jesus. Jesus, I'm out here working. I thought I, I was the one drinking. I know. Mike I know. just got off of work. He's Listen, supposed I'm to be sober. <laughs> I'm catching up, buddy. But Tyreek Hill, even if uh, I make that concession that they're uh-huh. even. Yep. Adam, you know how I am in lineup leagues now with tight ends. Gerald Everett, see ya. You love him? Out the door. No. Love it or list out, it. Out the door, man. And you got a 25 second back in return. You smashed it. You killed it. Be happy. I get it. I know you, I reluctantly a, press accept on this, by the way. I know you reluctantly press accept, but this is a fantastic trade for you. Bravo. Well done. Matt, take don't your, listen to anything <laughs> that's happening here. All right. Take your flowers. Take your flowers. Do it. I don't have Zay Flowers. All right. Now, it's not now on my explain, team. Explain this other one that I got out of my screen. So, all right. The so, top one's easy. Well, here's what I know. All right. And I, 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 I would click it normally to show you on my phone, but. This one was sitting in his inbox. So this is Matt Horn's version of 4D chess, right? So mm. this deal was waiting, and as soon as I pressed accept, he was ready to go to this. So what that tells you is I pressed accept on the deal I didn't create, which is where I said I reluctantly pressed it, Mike, because this wasn't what I offered. And I, I, I could tell he wanted to move Tyreek Hill, and I think he could tell that I wanted to grab Tyreek Hill. So we we made babies, you know. We L- lose a receiver, gains a receiver. That's what happened. He and, gets and, and, and he here, gets here's the forty move, right? Second. So he right. gets he gets to stay young at running back. It's not Bijan, but he gets Gibbs, right? He right. he he the Everett trade. Honestly, for me though, Mike. See, this is where I struggle with Koopa's process, and I know what Matt Horn's going to do. Is Everett still carries market value? So while you and I and Koopa and everyone that can look at Warp might dismiss Gerald Everett, someone will trade a third. And then all of a sudden you add a third up there and it's not really any different at minimum. And, and then at the right time, if what if he's coming off of two top five weeks and someone trades him a second? I've seen that type of shit happen in this league. Here, here's the only thing I have about it. So for the people listening on podcast, uh, he traded away B. John Robinson. And in return, he got CeeDee Lamb in a second. In a second, correct. Okay. Here's my only problem with that. This is the second deal, yes. Go when ahead. you break it all down, the seconds, cancel them out. Nobody gives a shit. Right, okay? yeah, and, yeah, agreed. Top to bottom. I like to look at the whole of a deal. What did he send away? He sent away Tyreek Hill and, and Bijan Robinson. And he got back CD. 
Gibbs. CD, Gibbs, and Gerald Everett. Right. And the third, if you're going to cancel the seconds, right? Adam, I'm telling you, Gerald Everett isn't enough for me in a half PPR to tear down from Bijan to Jameer Gibbs, and that's my problem with it. Well, let me ask CD you this. And let Ty- me ask you CD, this. CD and Tyree cancel out. I get it. Market well, value probably lends itself to CD, and could he compete for that upper echelon role? Hundred percent. Well, but wait. But so I will tell you this: things. there is no way in sh- there's no way in hell I project Jameer Gibbs to be a potential number one, number two, number three, number four running back in 2023. Okay. What I will say is, Bijan sure as hell has that potential. Okay. He sure as hell has the potential to be RB one overall in half uh, PBR. Which what do is you game think? Changing. Let me ask you the question: th- these two questions. Then, you have CD Lamb. You're contending. Mm-hmm. Someone has Tyree Kill. What do you need right. as a plus to get that deal done? I will take anything as a plus to get off my CD Lamb to what? get Tyree Kill. Just anything. What does that mean? Be more specific. <laughs> For God's sake, say, you're not taking you you're not taking Albert Equaba now. No, time out. Time That's out. why I say just be specific. That's all I'm time asking. Out. Time out, time out, time out. I, I love you, buddy. But this is where I'm going to throw you under the bus a little bit. Please do. If you, I, I like if, this. If you opened up our rankings tab, you will see that I've had Tyreek Hill near the top for the longest time. That's fine. I'm not talking same tier. I'm talking neck and neck with CeeDee Lamb. But the only reason I give the edge to CeeDee Lamb over Tyreek is youth. That's fine. And market perception. I, that's also fine. I will literally take anything. Albert Equaba now. I don't give a shit. Good. Thank you. I got a plus. So you're telling me this is a lineup league, start nine, roster 25. I will take Albert off. <laughs> You don't, even take... have the ro- you don't even have the roster spots. <laughs> no, you I won't. Will, I no, will you take won't. Four... Okay, not in this format. I will not I'm take I'm asking Albert you in, in the question of, like, what does it realistically look like? I, I don't care if it's low. Just be okay. specific. $5 in fab. That's your actual answer. That's my actual answer. I don't want the Albert O player because it's probably worthless and I'm never going to use it. But that Agreed. $5 That's in fine. fab, but... I could use it at some point. So you're saying... Forget dynasty. You're basically saying that you, for you, because of what Tyreek Hill means on a contender, you're you're willing to forgo age. I am foregoing age because we put this premise on age matters in dynasty at sure. the wide receiver position. At the wide receiver position, mm-hmm. and Adam, it doesn't fucking matter. Devontae Adams is damn near 31 years old and still produces his ass off. I will still buy into these guys in two to three year windows. Tyreek Hill is one of those dudes. But, I mean, I my problem is that C.D. Lamb, I, I, you can look at a warp chart and it'll tell you they were different and that Tyreek Hill was ahead, right? Massively ahead. Okay, but what I'm telling you is that in this league, you're looking at, in warp it might say that, but in points per game, it's really not that much different. And you're also looking at Tyreek Hill is older. So... I agree that for a season, Tyreek Hill, I, I still probably project him to be better than CeeDee Lamb. But let's, let's, let's acknowledge CeeDee Lamb also had Cooper Rush and had issues last year himself. We were getting ready to write him off. He had a great season himself, and he's still very yeah. young. So, like, is it? let me ask you this. Is it crazy to say CeeDee Lamb beats Tyreek Hill in points per game this year? If Tyreek Hill gets hurt. If he's healthy. No, not a fucking chance. You, you none. But see, that's just I don't I think that's dismissive. There's just no way you can say cuz in this league they finished in 18 points per game in a full season. Difference. Or 18 18 points for the season, sorry. Like that's literally like a point a game. Like that's not guaranteed that CD Lamb is behind Tyreek Hill. So so what were they in points per game? Adam, uh, I'll pull, yeah, I'll pull it up. I only, uh, got, I only got PPR, and I got the warp table to tell me. I, I got the league up right now, so it's um, Tyreek Hill was two fifty five, Ceedee Lamb was two thirty three. So it's I said eighteen it was twenty points per game different. Let's go to points per game or twenty uh season twenty, 20. total points. Yeah, so points per go. game it would be almost a full point, right? Yeah, um, one point two, one point three. I'm doing some math in my head. They both played seventeen games, so it was yeah one point one. That's the difference. That's for why sure. Tyreek Hill is what, like a half a point more or a half a win more? In warp, for sure. But in l- warp? But that's also last year 
in CD Lamb has actually gotten better every single year. Tyreek yes. Hill, Tyree Hill is great, by the way. I mean, I traded for him. <laughs> Listen, but, I'm not going to say Tyreek Hill's not better because he had his best year probably ever. But that's my point. Year. Is is Tyreek Hill going to be better this year than last year? He might be because he could be. He could be. He could. His be. quarterback might not have his brain scrambled. I agree, but my only point is that have you, to, have you to seen Tua fall? I have many a times. I've seen him <laughs> with his hands <laughs> looking Listen. like he hasn't no, like no, the no. Kemba Mutombo thing. I mean, I mean this preseason, man. He looks so much better falling. This is falling analysis. What this quarterbacks what got hurt, got hit this preseason? Doesn't even exist. It's not, it's not on the fucking elemental chart. All right, <laughs> stop it. We're 18 minutes into this. We need to get to the new trade. <laughs> Here's do. my point. Yes. C- if C.D. Lamb is ahead of Tyree Killen points per game this year, it's not crazy at all. No, it's, it's not crazy. crazy. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. Crazy. It's it's crazy. Not. It's crazy. Tyree Killen's the, the god. The it's goal. absolutely plausible. Everyone listening, it's absolutely plausible that CeeDee Lamb finishes ahead of Tyreek Hill. So my point Tyre- is to you, to try to summarize this, because of the difference in age and the fact that they can be the same in points per game, I'm taking CeeDee Lamb ahead of Tyreek Hill every time. And the plus is not going to be something that's just five bucks in fab. Now, I get what you're saying. It doesn't have to be a big gap. But for me, like I'll take a second. That's my difference at minimum. Outside of that, I'll just take my age. That's my point overall with this. So c- would you agree that like that's fair market-wise to take a second and go to Tyreek Hill? Or is that not even close? I, I can see your point, yes. All right. So now you've got, to me, you've got CeeDee Lamb in a second, which Horn did grab. Um, and then also he's losing a second, but they wash, right? So we already say that that second is – on his side. Now, here's the difference for me, and this is the bigger question. That's why it's amazing it's taken this long to get to this point. What is the difference between Gibbs and Bijan? Because that, I think, is what people really want to know about and ultimately what makes this deal. A fuck ton more than Gerald Everett. Well, I'm assuming Everett gets moved later on, but I agree with that point. Let's say that's two-thirds, though. But my question is, is is a second and two-thirds enough to get off of Bijan to go to Gibbs. Bro, it's almost a first, to be honest. And half PPR. Come on. I, I'm not diff- I'm not I'm not actually disagreeing with a first. I don't think that actually gets done. But my point is, is a second and two thirds close enough to the first that you might take it in a certain Maybe. Team? Maybe, okay. but he's still he's still missing those pieces. Those don't fucking exist in this trade. No, they do. Uh, if you can get a third for Everett, you got a third and a third and the second washes, right? But he got a second for Lamb. He he's he's sending a second, and then he's gotten Lamb, which we said is a is a second ahead. <laughs> I don't like your math here. <laughs> You're trying to make this guy feel good. No, no, no I'm not. I'm, I'm actually saying you you say Tyreek and C D Lamb are different by a second in market, right? To some people, in market, you said that's the correct. You said it. You just said that's in market what it was, right? Listen, you had to bait that one out. <laughs> you had to bait that one out. Of All right, Mike's, ba- Mike's backtracking. But Mike did say it was a second at one point. That's okay. The point is, if that's the case, you 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 are washing seconds, but you're gaining that in value. That's what I'm kind of oh, getting shit. at. This is we spent far too many <laughs> minutes on this. Mike, Mike won't Mike won't get to the willy nilly, and I'm going to make him do it as uncomfortable as it's going to be. So <laughs> right now. There's three people in this these these forty chess traits. You won't give me fair values on breaking it down. So let's just what happened here. Ewok went from C D in a second to Bijan. Do you like that or no? I love that. Good okay. move. Great move. Horn went from Tyree Kill in a second to and, and Bijan to C D Lamb. I guess you, you're washing them out. So he went to CeeDee Lamb, Jameer Gibbs, Everett, and a third is what you're saying in the totality. And you're saying he's the one that loses the deal, correct? And I'm saying every day of the week I would take Tyreek and Bijan over Gibbs, Everett, CeeDee Lamb. Okay. In the now, la- last point I will make is if, if you were Horn and you're building more for like 2024, you're not really a true contender this season, is this a deal you would make? <laughs> no, because I don't give a fuck about Gerald Everett. <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, there you have it. So, no. Matt, um, I actually didn't want to tell you you won because I always like to win deals, but uh, Mike hates it. Mike I'm absolutely sorry. hates sorry. it. I'm sorry. That was 20 sorry. minutes of uh, a deal and a half. Anyway, 
Mike, you know why this deal is mine? It's because it's the Who's. And you know who the Who's is? The Blitz. The, the Blitz. person that orchestrated the trades. So you know he's going to get his deal on the show. So we're looking at Blitz's deal here. Mike, this is a totally different lens. 12-team, two-quarterback, PPR, 0.75 time in premium, 0.25 points per carry, best ball start 13, shit four. So we're going from lineup start nine to best ball start 13. They couldn't yep. be much different. Two quarterbacks involved. Mike, Jahan Dotson, who I'm just going to let you know, given the preseason, has climbed to wide receiver 19 on key trade cut, Michael. Ah, fuck yeah. What's up, boys? I need you to understand <laughs> the insanity yeah, let's after go. a fucking let's sketchy go. ass rookie season and everyone telling us that Jahan Dotson love is fake. Let's go. Top 20 receiver on key trade cut and Isaiah Pacheco. Fuck yeah. Two years removed, though. 25 first, 25 second. What side are you taking? Adam in this or one? Or is it close? It's close if if your team is rebuilding and you just said fuck it. Uh, if you're blitz and you're a contender, oh, fuck, I want the Dotson Pacheco side. I will pay a 25 verse for Jahan Dotson in a best ball league like this. That's what happens. I will fuck around and find out. And you best believe as much shit as I'll talk about Isaiah Pacheco and we had Nate Liss on here speaking facts a long time ago about Isaiah. You Pacheco. saw what they did to Ch. Imagine what they'll do to Isaiah Pacheco. For a 25 second, I will fuck around and find out. <laughs> See if they actually do the same thing to Isaiah Pacheco. Man. That's why I say it's close. So so you so you just hate my deal, really, right? I, I don't hate it. Listen, I just gave you mad love on the last one. You're, no, no, you're, no. You're, this is a separate deal. You're disparaging deal. yourself. I know. It's a separate deal. Let's, let's keep it fair here. I want the McNutted truth. I want the blitz side here. Okay. I, I want the blitz wow. side here. Wow. To be honest, I want the blitz side. Interesting. Okay. Let's fucking go. Buy, buy all the Is there? Dots. Do you have any like um, further, I guess, discussion before I lean into my side? Uh, no, because it's .25 point per carry, and you see what that does to the running backs, right? Mm-hmm. If Isaiah Pacheco is even like an RB24-ish, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 25 second doesn't come fucking close to what he's worth. Killed it. Okay. Killed it. Oh. Killed it. Okay. Mike, can I ask you a question? Go for it. Well, I know I can, but I'm being <laughs> condescending. <laughs> I know you are. Where's James Robinson playing football right now? Who gives a shit? Nowhere. Uh, it's a question. Who's he playing Where? for? Nowhere. He he was just recently dismissed from an, his third team, right? He had an mm-hmm. unbelievable rookie season. Undrafted kid. Had an injury, and look at his career arc. I mean, Mike, you go back to his rookie season, and uh, we can go back to the OG days when me and you were defending this man to a person we won't mention because we were wrong. Isaiah Pacheco, to me, absolutely has the range of outcomes to, uh, let's call it what it is. In two years, he could still be the lead back. Like, he could get through this season and next season as the lead primary ball carrier for mm-hmm. a great offense. Absolutely could. Uh, the cutting of generic Prince, I think, also was, was a good thing for Pacheco. But Mike, like, let me ask you a question. It, for Isaiah Pacheco, if week seven comes around and he's not a thing anymore, like, what type of surprise are you? Not at all. Not Zero, at all. Like, right? Zero. Right. Yeah, that very well could happen. So, for me, if I'm in a rebuild, okay, so is there a range of outcomes where Pacheco is worth more than the 25 second? Absolutely. Of course. Mm-hmm. 0.25 points per carry? Shit. If he is what he was last year for three seasons, I take an L. But let's at least acknowledge the other side of the Nate List coin, which is they bring back McKinnon. They, they, there's all kinds of conjecture for Pacheco right now with right. no draft capital association. Rebuild, I'll take a second. Easy. No discussion. Ever. Any build. Like, I'm good. Because you know what a 25 second can do? Maybe it doesn't buy Pacheco, but you know what it can do? Yep. Buy very similar production. Correct. 
very fucking similar production at any point. I get you. Okay. And that's what I started the exact analysis and, of my trade with. And then, and then so rebuilding. So, right. So, 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 okay. So then 25 first for Dotson. So Dotson's peaking right now, right? Quarterback is Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett. Now I know Mike's a big how truther and I, and I, I, I'm on record. I like the talent of Dotson, but mm-hmm. wide receiver 19 to go up. I don't really see a lot of upside. Now, could he get to like 15, 12? If he balls, sure, absolutely. Inside of that, not happening. Like, odds are 3% or less for him to get inside the top 12 at receiver. Given the offense, given everything that he has. Like, even if he balls. Like, it's just not likely. Terry's there, paid. I'll take a first. Easy, given... That Mike, this is two years out, and I'm betting. So for me, a 25 first. Let's let's call this like 109, 25. I'm drafting a Dotson type, right? Or no? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. A Dotson Maybe. type. Maybe you don't know. No, I do. I do. Every single year, 109 gives me Dotson, gives me Rager, gives me Jefferson, gives me. A receiver in this range, a lave, all kinds of receivers there. I do know that. I know that. Yeah, but you also listed off a bunch of busts, right? Like you're oh, of course. No, no. <laughs> I, I, that's why I said type. Now, what happens oh, okay. to that player? We don't know. It's a, like a, a guy who could be worth Jahan Dotson or who could be worth nothing. That's what you're saying. Like you have the, no. that ability to draft that player at that spot. Right. What I'm saying is, before I know what they, when they bust or not. That's the type of value insulation a 109 has when I draft them. When that pick is not even, I don't have to press the button. What I do also know is if Blitz fucks this up, Blitz, if you fuck this up, if you fuck up my nut, I get to <laughs> fire your ass, buddy. Because guess what I get in a two quarterback league? Every bit of upside. Mike, there's no upside to the moon on Dotson or Pacheco. You know what that 25 first upside carries? And if Blitz messes this up, like, you know what I'll make him do? You know. (laughs) I need you to touch your toes, buddy. That's all right. Blitz, I love you, man. I love your side here, though. If you're competing, this is what I would do. 25s. Push them in. There you go. All you need is Jahan Dotson. So... All you need is Jahan Dotson to be wide receiver 24. That 25 first is paid off. As long as, the rest need, of, as long as the rest of your team is built right, correct? All you need is Isaiah Pacheco to just do what he did last year, which is, like Adam said, could be done by week seven. But I don't give a shit. He didn't come on until like week 13 last year. That's all you need. You just need of a course. handful of games. Uh, now, that's on an individual basis, though. On, as, a, as a team build, though, if you haven't built right, if your build's not right and this pick is a play non playoff team, there's no discussion on what the value uh, win is there. So, correct. Blitz, uh, You're chasing. You're chasing. No, so I'm I just, said, it depends on your build. I'm not even chasing. I just I have time on my side where I don't. I'm not wanting to win right now. Anyway, right, Mister Wonderful. Uh, let's talk about a deal of yours. J.K. Dobbins, Travis Etienne, twenty six second. Warren G. Roshan Johnson, John Mechie, Damian Pierce, Traylon Burks, 12-team Superflex PPR, full point tight end premium, 0.25 points per carry. Lineup start 11. League is called Hard Knocks, Mike, uh, if you want to pull up the warp. So lineup start 11. What are you thinking here? Man. Pick one of these running backs. Dobbins, Etienne. I don't really give a shit. Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce is somebody that I've warmed up to so much during this preseason. Well, I was going to say, Damian Pierce or JK, who do you got? Does it really fucking matter? I can, like, cancel both of them out. I Well, they're, like, six picks or five picks away in uh, ADP. Right. So, I was going to cancel those. That, I'm just trying to do simple math here at this point. I know. I'm, I'm probably going to go with JK, but Adam, it really doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. ADP has Pierce slightly ahead, but I think it's 
the difference is negligible. Like it's squash it, right? Right. So, okay. So now Travis Etienne or Roshan and Traylon Burks. Oh, Roshan and Traylon Burks. No question. Is that not easy? That's fucking easy money. And then a second, or Mechie, I'll take... It's a 26 second though, Mike. I'd, I'd take the second. I would too, but it's so far out that it's How about closer. this? JK, JK and David Pierce, you can cancel out. Travis Etienne. Yeah. Yeah. Travis Etienne for Traylon in a second. Wait, there's no second Wait. over there though. I yeah. know, fuck. God damn it. No, no, no. It's got to be that way. Well, what about second. what about because because Roshan you would take over a twenty six second too easy. It's got to yes. be Traylon and Roshan, and then the difference between that win versus what the difference is between the second and Mechie. It's got to be that, right? Fuck man. So which side, which would you rather have? Given if that's what the differences are, in this format, these settings, I'm not gonna lie, man, Mister Wonderful. I'm gonna take Roshan, Traylon, Damian Pearson. I don't even fucking like John Mechie, and people hate me for it. But I'll, I'll take John Mechie. You can have my JK and, and ETN. I think I want that other side. I think I want the Damian Pierce side. <laughs> this is so fucking nuts because I hated Damian Pierce for the longest time. Damn it. So he, here's what I'm looking at, though. This is why I think, um, and uh, I'm going to talk to Christian. Christian, you hear me? <laughs> this is right your here. time, right? Right here. Time to show Mike, this is where the warp tool is highly valuable and I can understand the edges that are being played here. So 0.25 points per carry, right? Now, I I think Pierce is still going to be I'm not going to call the him the true horse. workhorse, but like he's the Dan- fucking workhorse, man. Devin Ziggletary sucks. Okay, I I don't disagree with the player <laughs> assessment, he's but I don't normal. I don't think they brought him in to not use him at all. So it's they a work use him. He's it's a, god awful. They're going to now. Is it's I, I'll call it a workhorse light. Like I don't I don't think his old role is what's going to happen because they brought you him don't you don't think he's going to be Saquon Barkley level usage. I just don't think he's getting twenty touches every game like he did before. Right, that's no, my he's point. Getting, he's getting fucking twenty touches, bro. He's getting twenty touches. Do you think they're going to be? Do tra- you think they're going to be ahead enough for him to even get twenty touches? Listen, we got the first and second quarter. We'll be fine. With the first and second quarter. <laughs> I'll take the under on 20 touches a game. But, <laughs> okay. All right. So my point to you is in a point two five points per carry, I can make the case that Dobbins, although he has Justice Hill, which is all of a sudden a thing now, in case you aren't aware, Mike. Well, um, rip. <laughs> this ain't just me. That's not me. It's actually not me. It's uh, it's it's everybody else that's telling you it's a Justice Hill it's thing. Fucking but, sleeper trending player. God help us. Would you be surprised? Let me ask you this, Mike. At a point two five points per carry, if J.K. Dobbins in carries matches roughly what Pierce does, but also has a much better offense and touchdown upside than Pierce does. Possibly, possibly. The Would Ravens be- are so fucking weird, though. Why? Could They're gonna be good. Seen- We've never seen J.K. Dobbins carry that kind of workload ever. Because because you know why? Because Harbaugh decided that a preseason record was more important than his stud young running back. Not just that. I know he was coming back from injury, but even when he was prime and full in his full he fucking prime. He was a rookie, prime, though. I, listen. But his, but, ch- but, his, but his back like seven, eight games was what we were starting to see. They still played a shitty-ass Gus Edwards over him for the longest time, and that was disgusting. You know I'm a JK truther. Okay, my question is: Would you be surprised if Dobbins has okay. a much higher ceiling? Surprised? Than no. That Probable? Thank, thank no. you. It is very hard to get answers out of this guy today. Listen, I'm giving you great answers. It's just feisty. It's hard to get direct answers. Let's call it that. All right. So now that we got it out of the way, I'll, I'll take JK over that. And then, Mike, here's the thing: Look at that warp chart. Mike, the running backs are ahead of everybody by a country mile until you get to quarterbacks four. And they're way ahead of receivers. They're ahead of tight ends. It's a single race with the running back position. So if you're telling me now that Burks and Mechie in this league, in a lineup league where you got to press the button, don't mean a fucking shit, I'm good with the ETN side. Because it's close enough in value 
to where I get what you're doing. I want Mr. Wonderful side. Now, in a vacuum, if this was not this warp, I definitely want the Warren G side. Okay. But when um, you bring when you bring the warp into the play, I completely understand dismissing a Burks and a Mechi to do what you're doing. That's my point. I wouldn't feel good about myself if I didn't push back to you on this one point right here, buddy. Do it, buddy. Like, I understand it's a it's a give tough it to thing me. to get at answers this point, out of. At this point, give it to me. We're, we're we 40 about, minutes in on the third trade. Let's do it. We, we, we liked how J.K. Dobbins was in the second half of last year. Do you know how many times he topped 15 carries last year? Not many. One fucking time. Yep. Do you know how many times Damian Pierce, albeit – on a, a shittier lot. on a, a lot. shittier a on lot. a shittier fucking offense than he is this year. A lot. A Davis Mills led offense. How many uh, times did how, he top fifty? Over the carries? course of the season? Yep. Fuck six, you can even go back half. Six or seven? Want. Six or seven for that the whole year. Pretty good guess. Eight eight times. Eight Thank times. You. you weren't you weren't uh, too far off. I'm I'm aware. Yeah, I'm hip. Just in the back half of the season, like we think J.K. Dobbins was super fucking special. Five times. How many games did Damian Pierce miss? Uh, he missed a handful, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many touchdowns did Pierce have? A good number. How many? Five. What if What if Singletary takes two? <laughs> What are we doing here, man? No, but I'm I'm being serious. The upside of Houston's offense is not what JK's is in Baltimore this year. Can we at least acknowledge that to a high premium? Did JK have a good offense last year? Same fucking thing, right? No, Lamar. By the time JK was really playing, Lamar missed a lot of games last year, man. Okay. It's not the same offense when Lamar is playing. Okay, so they didn't have Lamar in the back half, right? And he still couldn't top fifteen touches. No, because he's also – look at him. He was coming off that injury. Like, we knew he wasn't 100% last year. So, so the coaching staff went, listen, boys, we don't have Lamar. It's the Tyler Huntley or Anthony Brown show. You know what we're going to do? We're going to throw the fucking football because we're no. not going to give it to J.K. No. They, I think they gave J.K. more less of a workload than he wanted. Holy shit, man. I think you're stretching here on the J.K. Dobbins thing. Uh, apparently. I, I think you're stretching on the Damian Pierce thing. Cause both in both in bad fucking situations, dealing with injuries, right? You wait, why is J.K. Pierce. in a bad situation? Both in bad offensive situations last year at this time, this thing we're looking at. I'm not worried about last deal, year. You keep going dealing, to last year. I'm talking about this year. Both dealing with injuries, yet one guy get, touches the ball 20 times. The other guy can barely nah, get 13. No, no, no. Damian Pierce was fully healthy when he was playing. J.K. was coming off of a pretty serious injury. That's a different thing. And then also, Damian Pierce had no one in his way. And I don't like Devin Singletary, the player. I don't think he's the greatest. But I do know that they brought him in to give him some touches. And I also project the Ravens to be a better offense. So you're projecting J.K. Dobbins to get 20 touches a game? No, I never... I. Yes, everyone listening, you heard me say that. 20, <laughs> touches, a, 20 touches a game for J.K. Dobbins. I said that on air. I, that's what I project. No. Because only one of, of these course. running backs is getting 20 touches a game. And, and it it's not Damian Dobbins. Pierce. It's not oh. Damian Pierce. It's not. <laughs> Devin Singletary. So you think Devil Sing, Devin Singletary came to Houston to die? Yeah, because he's bad. Really? So he took all them touches in Buffalo last year with your James <laughs> Cook, the sixth pick in your rookie Bro. draft. He's just so he came fun. here to die. He's just as good as your boy uh, Justice Hill that we're we're just no, that's not true. Justice Hill is a third down small scat back. Devin Singletary Holy can shit. take different co- type of carry load. That's different. Holy shit! Bookmark this motherfucker. <laughs> we're gonna bookmark this. <laughs> there you have it. So Mike says guaranteed that Damian Pierce is gonna get twenty <laughs> carries a game. J.K. Dobbins will not, which no one ever did say he would get twenty. And that the Houston offense is going to be just as efficient and as good as the Baltimore offense. That is not what I said right there at the so end. So there's no it. argument. Exactly. That's a fucking stretch. It is <laughs> a stretch. But only one of those guys is a threat for 20 touches a game. And it isn't J.K. Dobbins. It's not true. Damian Pierce is true. not getting 20 carries with Devin Singletary in the realm. He sure as hell is. And... Trey Lance is going to be the starter in San Francisco. JDC1219. Uh, you got Damian Harris right here, who you probably are going to say it doesn't matter. 
uh, Jonathan that's Taylor. A, that's a stud right there. Jonathan Taylor and Damian Harris or Brees Hall in a second. 12-team Superflex half PPR lineup start eight. Fantasy Football Federation. JDC 12-19 or Kyle Pickt. This is easy. Easy as one we'll fucking have on this trade show. And I swear to God, if you find a way to disagree with me on this one, we're done, buddy. <laughs> we're Please. Done. I'm flying back I, up I, and I, I, we're having that wrestling match. I hope I hope you disagree with me here because I'm all I'm looking for is a reason at this point. Breeze Hall in the second. Jesus Christ. Next. I mean, there's not a lot of debate here because Breeze Hall God. and Jonathan Taylor aren't that close. I mean, I can wear his jersey. Because it's the only chance I'll ever get to. <laughs> right, you gotta promote it's the only already. chance that I'll wear this one when he's still in Indy. But like a second in Harris isn't close. I don't care if it's twenty-seven. So <laughs> this, um, this one was easy. This is the easiest trade we've had. I right? hope. I hope our patron. By the way, this is a new one because I haven't seen. I hope it's Kyle picked because uh, JDC. I hope, so. I hope it's not JDC. I don't mind if it is. Just you should. You're subscribed to the right channel. Um, Please, Brees Hall in the second. Easily. CM Frank 2001, Luke Musgrave in a second, or David and Joku B J J M E B Z. Twelve team Superflex PPR lineup start eleven tiered PPR. Tiny Paulsters. I can tell someone watched the A Warp. Fuck it. the A Warp live Fuck. that we did because Mike, where you at, buddy? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! <clears throat> no, 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 no. The bat, nah, nah. Hey, everybody listening, fuck that. <laughs> Don't you fucking backtrack now, you motherfucker. Put it on the line. Put there your is. nuts on the line. Koopa, come get your guy, man. He's out here backtracking. He's he's wish washy. He doesn't know what he wants to do today, man. Look at this guy. Sky Look Cotter's, at him. Sky Cutter is going to be so furious with me. Right. There's Process no way over. you're not doing this. I'm not going to. But Adam, let me tell you, you're, it's so dude. Hard. No, you, you stop. Should be, stop, you, bro. Stop. You, you should be fucking thrilled. No. The fact that I've bought into this Cleveland Browns offense no. with David and Joku no. and Deshaun Watson and Amari Cooper and Nick Chubb. I bought in so All much. Right, fine. Let me ask you this. Let, let's just cut to the chase. What is David and Joku's tight end ceiling and warp? Like not points per game or warp actual number. Like, do you think he can be a top four warp player at the tight end position? Yes. yes. Top top four. Yes. Yes. So you you think he beat he could beat out basically Kittle? He could probably Lock beat out spin. everyone, but that's not Kelsey and Andrews. Is your 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 theory is that he could become anything right. that's not Kelsey or Andrews? Correct. And, and let's not even say any, I, I think he could also probably push like a, a Mark Andrews. What? Yeah. He's got that ability. Okay. He's hella talented, but. Yes. Bro, that's a big ask. I understand. Okay. So, all right. We got that out of the way. Yes. Now, making this trade, given what we know about A Warp. Doesn't he have to be that to make this trade even worthy? Yes, he does. And that's So thing why would you take this trade? E- acknowledge everything you just said and understand everything. you still want the other side, correct? I want the in the end, I want the Luke Musgrave and okay. the 24 second side. Okay, I can live with it. Now, you can buy into the hype. I but have already hurts. done it. But at <laughs> least acknowledge that even what you're what Mike is saying is he sees a scenario where tight end three is on the table for David and Joku, and he yeah. still has to acknowledge the truth. I just wish he would have done it on the show earlier because it would have been a lot more helpful for everybody. It was helpful. Listen, I just explained it. I'm Fuck pl- them tight ends outside of Kelsey and Andrews. Koopa, come get your boy. Um, but this one right. hurt. This one hurt. This one hurt to do. I get it. I got a – who's a brown? Come on. Matty Gomes, I'm the one. Man. I'm the one who should be telling you, like – you embrace it, even though it's hard for you. Mm-mm. I've done it. I just said that I'd take that other side. My it's thing is, hard. here's my thing with the tight end thing for Koopa. By the way, Koopa, this is for you. We're interrupting the trade show for you, Koopa. <laughs> for Koopa Troopa. We bring this sponsorship to Koopa Troopa. Um, he deserves at least one sponsorship plug. Koopa, if you want to dig your heels into the tight end thing to the nth degree, 
there's two problems I have with it. One is more so I think it's dangerous telling the public to just abandon tight end because I think what's going to happen is you're going to sell for less than market. And then what you're going to do is it's human nature to be like, man, the only thing I need left is tight end. Lineup right. start nine, lineup start 10. And what are you going to do? Someone is going to end up Try selling light and then buying back for more. So I think that's right. the dangerous part right. about talking about it that way. One. Two is that let's even say you want to lean into this. I honestly don't disagree with it. And I even said, I said, it's probably most beneficial to start the worst tight end in the league and just do it. But no one on, no human on this earth will do it. Now, let's say you have the conviction to do it. What, what I don't agree with is selling light on market just to get it done today. Like, I don't want to completely destroy my tight end room at way below market in this process. Now, if you want to sell all your tight ends, I'm fine with it. But I'm not selling Cole Komet for a fourth. You can get fucking bent. No, I'm not doing it. I am not giving someone the chance. Because here's the thing. I think that AWARP is showing everybody. Why I'm not going to make that David and Joku bet is because as much as I love him, talent's awesome. Situation's great. He's got to hit that at that price, right? Right, right. But but there's a chance that Cole Komet ends up being tight end four. Tight there end is. five. Yep. It, yep. It, it yep. wouldn't be insane given what the tight end market landscape looks like, right? Like I, what yep. I don't want to do is sell one of those guys by chance for a fourth to someone that desperately needed one yeah. and they get lucky. I don't want to burn value for no reason, and I don't want to give someone a chance that didn't have it or didn't deserve it in in my league that I'm playing against. That's my two things. And the three bugaboos. I have three bugaboos. No old women. <laughs> You you don't know that from uh, Step Brothers? Oh come on, man! I get you. I get you, man. I don't think either either one of us though was advocating like sell like Cole Komet for a fourth, right? Like no, but he listen, did sell Cole Komet for a fourth this week. No shit. Okay. Um, and and Blitz I, didn't I, put it on the trade show because that's what okay. Blitz does. Fact, listen, I would say I would sell Cole Komet for any second, any Mike, second. Mike, any second. Cole Komet types, Noah Fant types, any pick was on the block. I'm not oh, doing shit. this. I'm not doing this. Like Noah fan for me, as much as I love him, would be like two thirds. You know what I mean? If you wanted to fight me on a single third, I could discuss it. But a fourth gonna, is out out the window. I'm gonna go like ninety percent of market. And that's kind of where I'm gonna cool. sit it. I'm I, and I could agree with that. Again, okay. I'm not, with not, I'm with liquidating, not. but I'm not with just dumping throwing it away. I'm with you there. We share the same sentiment. I'm not oh. selling fucking Cole Komet for a fourth. And I'm not doing that for any player in any position in any situation unless it's close enough to where – because right. he, here's my problem, right? Okay, so now you got this fourth. Let's see if you can say you got, let's say you got two fourths. In a lineup start 11, a lineup start nine, what does that man? buy you? You got seven fourths. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> right. All right, All right let's do this trick. Your sponsorship is over. Um, no, go that, back. We wait. didn't even talk about this trick. Step yeah, sorry. Diggs. Matty, go. I'm sorry, buddy. Stephon Diggs or Jordan Addison in a second in a start 11 league best ball, Mike. Best ball does change it. It, it changes it a little bit. Not but enough, not though, enough. Right? Stephon yeah. Diggs is a fucking dog, man. You had Matty Key Woolman and Cody Garpendier on tonight. Stephon Diggs is a fucking dog. The same way I'll talk glowingly about Tyreek Hill, I will talk the same way about Stephon Diggs. Jordan Addison's nice. The second's nice. It's a best ball. It has some meaning. Well, Fuck let me that, ask though. you this, though. Me let me ask you this. Though. Stephon Diggs me. is getting for for some people scary, right? Why? Gabe Davis is out targeting him. Um, I'm, <laughs> In the I'm, fucking preseason. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm re- Mike. I'm relaying messages. For God's <laughs> sakes, don't shoot me, okay? Stop it. I'm just telling. I'm telling Stop. you for some people why he's scary. Stop it. Yeah, he's talking to y'all because he ain't talking to me. I know he's not. Stop but Mike, it. let me ask you this though. Look at the jerseys. Tell me that Jordan Addison can't be the young Stephon Diggs that once was in Minnesota. In two fucking years. Three years. Not now. Not his rookie year. Stop it. Stop. No, what I'm saying is the young Stephon Diggs. Cool. Young Stephon Diggs. I don't give a fuck. I want today's Stephon Diggs. So, but, But hold on now. If you're rebuilding, if you're Johnny Corp and you need, your window is next year. 
why not take the second if you think Jordan Addison can be what Stephon Diggs was? Because you got to live with that if he's not. I agree. But what if your league is like, nah, fuck you, because it's best ball. Because Mike instituted the teardown, and nobody does it anymore. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you better be fucking sorry. It's this is enough. the best. He, this is the best he could get. Matty Gomes is getting a, is a, getting a dig share, and Johnny Corp is getting Jordan Addison a second. So you're saying, regardless of what Addison becomes, it's not a win. Regardless of lineup or best ball, it's Jordan Addison and a first for Stefan Diggs. I don't mm. give a fuck about seconds. That's too rich second, for me. I get you though. On I think the second's light, but the first is too rich for me. I'm with you though. Okay, if the first is too much for you, it needs to be two seconds. I would agree with that point, and I don't care if it's best ball or lineup. So I agree I'll with the point you're making. I also think even if Jordan Addison becomes a young Stefan Diggs, market doesn't dictate just a single second. So I'm with nope. you. Stephon I'm with you. Diggs is like a dude. I'm that with, dude. I'm with you. He's a dog, but uh, oh. yeah, I'm not doing that. All right, 12 team oh, Superflex PPR, 0.5 tight end premium, best ball start 11, dynasty best ball. Mm. Red words and Nacho Kamish. He ain't my Kamish. I know that for damn sure. Um, Zach Charbonnet, CJ Stroud, or Mike's Tua Tungvaloa, and his main favorite, Gabe Davis. Tua. Hey. Tua. Tua. Okay, Tua, Tua, hold Tua. on. What's the difference between CJ Stroud and Tua? Not a whole of a lot between people because people hate Tua. What's the difference between Gabe Davis and Charbonnet? Actually, shouldn't be a whole lot either, right? I don't know if Charbonnet. Who's better? Gonna- Who's better? I think this is where you got to be real, though. Look at that face. He does not like answering this question on air. Gabe Davis? No. Don't lie. Whatever you do, do not lie to the fucking people. No, I will not accept this. Don't lie to the people. I know for a fact, Mike, if you got in a half, no, no, I will not accept this on fucking air. Admit what the hell you would do. You're taking Charbonnet over Gabe Davis. Admit it. It's PPR, man. I might take Gabe Davis. Kind of coming around on this dude. Uh, this kid. <laughs> who do who do it be Gabe Davis to break us? All right, last one we got here. We got we got two more, and I'm I'm Shit. not. I won't be a part of these anymore. This is He's a lie. Everything we've done is a lie. Did you just remember who who quit on air? All right, no, not me. I I'm didn't quit on air. I told the truth. You can't handle the truth. I'm a gamer. Baker Mayfield, Jerry Judy, a 24 second four. KJ Osborne, Traylon Burks, any 24 first. Ooh. Ooh, we got some pieces here. Traylon and Judy don't give you know a shit. You know what? This, this is a good time for this trade to come up because it's 12 team Superflex PPR, 0.5 tight end premium lineup, start 10. Mike needs to go to the chapel. He needs to have a word and, and be honest. Okay. Fix his uh his I do. Oh, lies. I'll be honest. Judy and Traylon, I don't give a shit. Those two can cancel out. I want Judy Easily. over Traylon. I don't. But Judy's got that fucking hamstring, bro, just as bad as Traylon's knee injury. I know, but I, I think that the offense with Russ, I I lean Judy. I, 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 want, I think so, I too, him. but this motherfucker's him. injured just as much as Traylon has ever been. No so. disagreement with the injury. It's more about, like, they're both. I thought you for were me, sitting this one out. <laughs> I was. What I wanted to say was that the chapel – is where Mike needs to go because he's lying on air. And I I'm not lying. And I'm Why? gonna tell the truth. And my Don't truth you. is that Jerry Judy is a slight tier above. It's not a lot, but it's enough for me to take Save. Judy every time over to Traylon. We'll wait for the YouTube comments on this. Save me. <laughs> Save me. Comment. Comment away. Who said Listen, you are? If you had, if you got burnt in the middle of this show, you need holy water. Um, I understand. All right. Well, Judy, Traylon, are they close at least? Yeah, yeah it's close. I want Judy, though. All right. Baker in a second or KJ Osborne in a first? Stop it. KJ in the first, right? Mike, you know why? It's for the same Please. reason that Blitz lost. Where's the upside? And it's a lineup start 10. Who gives a fuck about Baker? Where's the upside? That first. There's no upside with Baker. 
the there's first. no upside with any piece in there outside of the first, and if that somehow becomes 201. Maybe. Unfortunately for maybe. you, buddy, though, this is a 24 first, not a 25 first. So. Yeah, 25 class is Big terrible. Source. Fair, fair. You don't even know who the fuck is in there. Give me five players. Why? I got to wait till 25? <laughs> Mike, let me ask you this. How many players do I need to draft in 25 for that first to become valuable? Just, just I'm all I'm asking. Don't dodge the question. Well, just, let me let me yeah, answer my question. Let me ask you this: Do you agree Listen. with Matt Bruning that Quinn Ewers is the best player in twenty five? No, he's the best player in twenty four. What up, Matt? I got you, buddy. Matt, tell him, man, he's not coming out because if he is, he ain't getting buddy. drafted. It's the number three fucking quarterback next year. Let's go, top he, five pick. He's gonna end up not coming out. By the way, top five pick, Matt. I got you. No one's got you like I got you. Remember that, Matt. Just remember. Um, Mike's doing a Golden show mullet. on C two C, and he sketch. still <laughs> and he still um, isn't watching it anymore. But uh, <laughs> what? That is exactly what I'm doing Thursday, Friday. No, no not you. Saturday. Matt, Matt's not watching. Matt, Matt's on a hiatus, man. You know. Oh well, Matt ain't gonna listen to my shit on C two C. He knows better. <laughs> He's no, like, I'm not listening to this dumbass. Of course. All right. So <laughs> last trade, Zach Christian Kirk. Getting, Christian so I'm Kirk. not good. Andre 0815, Hollywood Brown on a second. So, Mike, uh, this is a DD patron league, 12 team Superflex PPR lineup start 10. Lineup start 10, Mike. Christian Kirk to Hollywood Brown. What's the difference? Is it at all? It feels very lateral, doesn't it? To me, it feels very lateral. Well, I'll tell this you what the is... difference is for me. Well, go ahead. You finish first. Go ahead. I, I, uh, I'm a big uh, Christian Kirk stan okay. at this point. Mm-hmm. And like a notorious Hollywood Brown hater. Until this year. Until I mean, this I, year. I don't even know who Mike is anymore. Jalen Warren love. Hollywood Brown love. Gabe Davis love. Pump the, pump the fucking brakes though. I don't think I've ever had like Jalen Warren love. Outside you sat there on the casting couch and told me. And everyone here watching. Fantasy receipts. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with the uh, the Hollywood Brown in the second side here, personally. That's what I like. Christian I, Kirk's dope. I no longer know what Mike likes. I no longer know who this gentleman is, frankly. He's got a new setup. He's got a backward hat. I don't even know if he's in Iowa. I need a <laughs> drink. Okay, Mike, but hear, hear me out, though. Okay. Lineup start 10. Yes. What 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 is that all about? Because let's bring Shane back in the Knicks. I'm glad I talked about this. Studs, studs, hammers, hammers. Use the word. Hammer. Acknowledge him. It's hammers. Well, I need to go get my hammer hat upstairs. You don't have one of those, so don't talk to me like that. Uh, yeah, I have a hammer hat. Because I don't. used to say it, and he tried to make you say it. And you still won't say it. Christian Kirk plays on a much different. Mike, this offense in Arizona. Is going to be starting Josh Dobbs or Clayton Toon. Let's not <laughs> even up. better. Let Let's go with that. Let's go with Clayton Toon. Uh, let's do that because that side is I'm not good. Even start ten. Start ten. Hammers, Mike. Who's throwing the fucking ball to Hollywood Brown? True. What is that second from Mister Shy Guy, who is a patient of ours, buying you and fucking start ten? No. Mike, every bit of truth that you've ever spoken about Christian Kirk has been ruined. You ruined it right here on this show. Everybody watching, I want you to understand this. The person that's not good isn't Zach. It's fucking Mike. <laughs> I, that is the way we're I, ending this show. Well, I mean, for me, like I said earlier. Um, and um, <laughs> that apparently is just not going to stop. So The, f- the fizzle interview every the time. The fizzle interview. <laughs> Is the two person interview for the rest of the time? We got to leave that in. I yeah, think we might. Who, I think we might. Who, I think we might. Who's not good now, dickhead? <laughs> go ahead, go rip on it. Let that be word fly, baby. Come on. <laughs> I was uh, gonna say it. Can you at least? It. Can you at least change your tune, Clayton tune, on fucking Christian Kirk trade to the people? Hollywood in the second. Can I tell you all something? Hollywood in a second. We're going to tell you something on air, but it's really off air. 
See, what I try to do is I try to reason with this man. Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, Antonio Gibson. But see, I can't do it. I need you guys to be my voice of reason. The person that steps in and says, hey, stop it. Get some help. Go go talk to somebody. To go talk to somebody. To and um, listen, if you still watch this, Clayton you got to at least, you got to at least for Clayton Toon's sake, sub to the channel, hit the like button, comment, and tell Mike he's a fucking crazy buffoon. That's my quarterback. And That's if you believe in Clayton Toon or Josh Dobbs, tell Mike that I'm crazy. I'll listen to you. I may not believe you, but I'll listen to you. Outside of that, we got a lot of things to plug. Dynasty Daddy, oh, partner yes. of the show. Make oh, yes. sure you go check it out. We ready? Bro. Hey, I, he got me hyped with that video today. That fucking hype video? We hype ready. Video. Man, I should have hired the dude from Dynasty Daddy to do our video editing. I'm Sorry, <laughs> Christian. Hype video. Listen, we love you. I love you, Christian. But the, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't that. I'm not saying replace Christian, but we could always no, use another. No, but... Christian could learn some things, you know. He's, we can always get a second one. Yeah, of course. And then we got Dynasty Daddy doing his thing. Um, we got okay. SouthHarmonFF.com. Still popping. By the time you guys listen to this, too, like, my ass is going to be on campus to Canton? The radio feed? Holy shit. Pinch me. Pinch me, buddy. Like, I'm doing a C2C the, show. It right, ain't, we got... It we ain't, got it ain't about like C two C. It's about Dynasty because uh, they wouldn't bring me on to talk like. You thought they C2C. brought us on to bring talk C two C, buddy? <laughs> no, I mean, no, come no. on. They know better. Austin, Felix, absolutely. We don't even we don't even know, don't even know shit about C2C. Dynasty, right? Absolutely, man. We don't know. Yeah, shit like about I don't. That. I don't use fucking trade calculators, bro. I should be. I need to tighten up my process. You're fired. <laughs> I know. I should be using a trade calculator. Every Check time AMA I... from tonight, and you know. <laughs> The energy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got no, but you. Anyway, uh, check out the warp tool. Check out uh, Dynasty Mind Warp if you want to use the warp tool. By the way, I've been getting a bunch of questions on using yes. the promo code. Um, we have a new video up there. Uh, got all you guys Damn. hooked up to make sure that warp uh, Dynasty Mind Warp promo code is working. So my Dynasty Mind Warp and the warp tool, check those out. Also, last thing. Patreon.com forward slash South Harmon. If you want your deals featured on the show, check that out. Uh, we got new tiers popping out a month. right now. Five bucks a month gets you on the trade show. And for five bucks a month, you've got a great chance. You've got a great chance of not only getting on the show, but Mike's rankings, which I'm not even sure you want. Um, what? You get... I'm the only. <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus when I'm well, the hold only on. dude who's up well, there. Well, hold on. The because crap. you're paying for that now, you get my rankings too. All right? It's not just a one-man right. band anymore. We're, we're, we're on this you to it. You don't have to hold I'll, me to nothing. I'll hold you to it. I'm not good. I want Christian Kirk. <laughs> I'm right? keeping you accountable. Please, please do. Um, outside of that, I'll be honest with you. I need help. If anybody <laughs> wants to do content... Just comment, email, oh, dine, something. All right, oh. we're in trouble. If we want this thing to go to the moon, I'm just playing. I fuck? love Mike to death. We are gonna fight this whole trade show out. I mean, it was Mike. Let, let's be honest though. This was what five deals out of like eight that we disagreed yeah. on. That's pretty rare territory. No, for us. People are always bitching that you and I never disagree. Here we are. Oh, your process sucks. I, one of ours does. I don't know whose it is yet. We'll find out. <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance. Let's flip a coin like a trade calculator. Or just trust the trade calculator for community values, which, you know, it's probably by some person that made the trade calc, but that's not the here nor there. Um, we love you guys. We love Fizzle, by the way. Shout out to Fizzle. Made the intro big video. Big shout out to Fizzle. Uh, big things popping. Okay. We'll see you guys. Same time, same place. Next week, Saturday morning for the Dynasty Trade Show. We're out of this thing. Peace.